Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Tuesday, August 31st, 2010. This morning we're going to add a file library to our Web Velocity application to show you how to do that. The example I'm going to use is going to add an image to it, although you can use the same technique to add CSS files or any other external resource you need to add to an application. To get started, let's create a new file library. So we'll go to New, File Library down here, and we'll just give this a name, Notes File, let's spell that without a capital O, File Library. We'll hit OK. Now that's created. What we need to do is we need to add files. So we'll go to this handy files link. If you're using Seaside, you often have to write workspace code for this bit. What I'm going to do is choose a file. I'm going to go into this temp directory here. Down here I have something called notes.png, which I'll add. And then I have to hit the add button once I've done that. So I choose files and then I add them. And if I click on this link, you'll see there it is. So it's a simple file. It doesn't have a transparent background, so it's going to look a little nasty in my application, but that's not really the point. It's just the example I'm trying to go for. What I want to do now is add that to the header. So let's go back to our application. Notes list UI is the UI I want to go to. And to show you what I'm going to do, I'm going to go here and I want to put this up top. So I want to add an image up here in addition to this header. So the question you want to ask yourself is, well, how does this header get here in the first place? Well, for going to Notes List UI, you can see where the hierarchy goes. Let's go up here to Generic UI and start hunting around. If we go down here to Rendering, you'll notice that if we scroll through this list, you find something likely here, Render Page Header On. And we open that up, and you see Render Page Header On puts out an HTML heading, Level 3 with self-title. That looks like the method. Now, you could also have gone over to the Search Console on the right and started looking for likely things. You could have said Search and maybe started typing something like header. And you notice that down here you can scroll through this list. Eventually you might find something likely. So there's a couple of different ways you can do this. I trawled through the hierarchy and found this method. So what I want to do is I want to override this method in my own class. So I'm going to go back to classes. Actually what I'm going to do is go back here to the top and then I'm going to go to notes app. And from there I'm going to go to notes list UI. And what I'm going to do is go into rendering HTML and I'm going to override this method. And the way I'm going to override it is I'm going to factor this out. So I'm going to come in here, I'm just going to click on any one of these openings here, paste over this with my code. And what I'm going to do is put a new render page header on, render the image, a space, and the title. So that means I have to take the original code and put it into render page title. So I'll do that. I'm just going to copy that from off screen so you don't have to watch me type. Again, go down here to this method, paste that in, there's my title, and again, I'm going to take off screen, I'm going to get the method to put the image up, so we'll open that up, go down here, and now render page image. Notice the way this works, I have HTML image URL, notes file library slash pound notes png, so it has to be a symbol, and this is the method name, if I were to go to the file library, you'd find that's the name of this thing. And this is just the logical path that you get if you use file libraries. At runtime, if I wanted to change this to an absolute string URL so that Apache or whatever other web server I'm using would serve it, I could do that. I could just change this into a string URL and it would work just fine. So this is how I can do it all contained in the image, but it's not required to stay that way. So let's go to Browse, Notes.html, see what we've got. And there we have our image and our title. Now it's not laid out in a way that makes sense. Most likely I'd want to add some styling to have the image maybe on the left and the title over here on the right or vice versa. And I'll go through how to do that tomorrow. Right now I just wanted to go through adding the file library and making use of it. So it's not the prettiest image in the world, doesn't have a transparent background, but you see how it works. If I come in here to this is my before and this is my after, before and after right here, and if you look at the code you come down here all it is is a matter of putting in this file library reference like that. So, that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with Smalltalk.